alongside the one and only Drew Barry. I'm Kyle Montgomery welcoming you inside our ACC Digital Network Studios as number five Duke welcome Virginia Tech to Cameron Indoor on Saturday. Potential upset brewing in Durham. Let's have a look at the highlights. Quick turnaround for the Dukies coming off a hard fought uh, win Thursday against Florida State. Found themselves in a battle in this one. Two point lead for the Dukies at half. They had to worry about this guy in the second half. Eric Green. With the left. Yeah, throwing it down. Didn't score in the first half. Had a big second half to keep the Hokies around in this one. Four point lead for Duke now. Seth Curry, he's been balling here lately. Yeah, he had a terrific game. Some big shots in the second half. Yeah, Duke out by six about halfway through the second half. One point lead for Virginia Tech now. Uh, Austin Rivers, he can fill it up. 23 points in this game. Yeah, he's been playing really well. I like his decision making with the ball and taking the correct shot. Under two minutes left now, more from Eric Green. He had 16 in the game, 55 all. Things were really starting to heat up. Next possession for Virginia Tech. Dorenzo Hudson, they call him Big Shot Huddy now. <laughs> yeah, the bank was open on that one. I don't know if he called bank. Yeah, put him up three. It's a one point game now. Under 45 ticks left, Eric Green oh. turns it over. He had such a good half, 16 points in the second half, but crucial turnovers down the stretch. Yeah, after a Duke made free throw, a chance for the Hokies to win it. Green can't get it to go. Uh, nobody can get it to go. So we are going to overtime. Seth Greenberg's like, ah. We needed that one. That's okay. The team had a shot in the overtime period. They have to uh, try to find a way to stop that guy, though. Yeah, another great play, great drive. Again, smart basketball IQ, taking it to the hole. Daddy's happy. Dad loves it even against his alma mater. 19 points, by the way, for Curry. There, there's Hudson again. Looked like a three initially. We thought we had a tie ball game at 64 all, but uh, second look here, foot on the line. So it only counts as two. Uh, Virginia Tech needed that that tie late. Three point game now. Chance to get within oh. one. Green, like you said, great second half. He, he liked to forget that one. Duke would uh, seal things up at the free throw line. They go on to win it 70 to 65. They're sixth in a row. All right, Drew, this obviously was not uh, of the pretty variety when it comes to wins for Duke, but, but they end up getting the job done. What was the difference for them when it was all said and done? Well, I, I'd look at this game and I am very impressed with Virginia Tech. They came out on the road, had a great game plan, were executing, were taking it to Duke's bigs, taking them off the dribble, creating a lot of easy shots. Eric Green was fantastic in the second half. And this had more to do about Virginia Tech's lack of execution down the stretch than it had to do with Duke's performance. Duke did not play well. Six for 24 from three. They really struggled from beyond the arc. 12 turnovers to seven assists. This is a game that was ripe for the taking for Virginia Tech, but we saw in those highlights, Eric Green with a couple crucial turnovers, missed layups. Yeah. They just did not finish the game and they let it slip away. So this is more VT's lack of execution than it has to do with Duke's good performance. Yeah, I wonder, I, I wonder how Coach K would view this one. Maybe similar to the St. John's game where he said, yeah, we won, but, but it felt like a loss. It, a ugly win for Duke. Do you think the quick turnaround, the 36 hour turnaround after the Florida State game, had anything to do with the, you know them playing a little bit a little bit sluggish? I, I don't think so. I think this is more of an excuse than anything else. I think Coach K goes in there and says, hey, you guys are 20 years old. You're young. You've got short legs. Guys in the NBA are playing night in and night out, flying across the country. Especially this I year. don't want to hear any excuses. <laughs> so I, I don't give fatigue any kind of emphasis for this performance. I think they just didn't play well. Well, we'll see how they play next game. They get Wake Forest on Tuesday before wrapping up the uh, regular season against North Carolina. That's going to do it for us. Drew Barry, Kyle Montgomery, catch you next time.